At this place in history, we're in Island Pond with Steve Perkins, Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society. Steve, what brings us here this week? So, Mike, we are in the beautiful Northeast Kingdom, and we're going to talk about railroads, the <laughs> yeah. Grand Trunk Railroad, which brought a lot of uh, industry it and did. excitement to this little part of our yeah. state. So we're going to go meet James O'Gorman from the Island Pond Historical Society up on the hill. Grand Trunk Railroad coming through in 1853. Uh, due to the efforts of John A. Poor from Maine, who was a lawyer and investor working with the Grand Trunk and investors from England and Canada, there was a competition as to whether or not to have the line from Montreal to Boston or Montreal to Portland, Maine. And John Poor lobbied hard to have the line go to Portland, Maine because it was 100 miles shorter in distance. Why did Montreal need to be connected to either Portland or Boston via train? I mean, they're on a, on a river as it is. I think because of the St. Lawrence freezing over that they thought it'd be easier to move goods from Montreal down through here. And Island Pond is actually the middle point between Portland and Montreal. This current station that you're looking at now was built in 1903. The Grand Trunk Railroad did some major changes here in town. At one point, there are 13 tracks along this area, and in the heyday of the 30s and 40s, there was a train leaving here every 20 minutes. Beautiful wooden bridge here, but there's a history of bridges across the rail lines. That's correct. There, there used to be a, a, a walking bridge here when I was a kid that they had built as part of the changes with the railroad with the wooden bridge for cars and traffic. This really became the center of kind of commerce and, shall we say, entertainment for the region for about 100 years. Oh, it did. I mean, when it, the town was first formed, there was a population of about 200. It increased to over 3,000 once the railroad came here. So it, it grew and, and a lot of activity going on here right up through the 1950s and 60s. James, there may not be 13 tracks anymore. We might not have uh, a train uh, departing every 20 minutes or so, but there are still some tracks and they are still used today. That is correct. Uh, it's mostly a freight line now. The passenger rail closed in the 1960s. Uh, there are about two trains a day still transporting lumber and various materials through here. Now, if people want to learn more about the Grand Trunk Railway or Island Pond in general, how can they do that? They can certainly come by and visit the Island Pond Historical Society. Uh, this summer, we're going to be open on Saturdays from 11 to 1. And uh, we have a website. If you look at Island Pond Historical Society, you'll find out more information there. The Grand Trunk Railway gets Island Pond on track at this place in history. Injured in a car crash.